The arpeggiator is a great addition to Chromophone 2. When multiple notes are played on the keyboard, it allows them to be played sequentially rather than all together as a chord. Now we turn it on over here. Let's go through the controls quickly and then we'll put it to work. The range control is used to select the number of octaves across which the pattern will be repeated. When it's set to zero, there's no transposition and it's only played in the range that the notes are held in. So we can go one octave, two, three, or four, or only in the octave that it's played in. Now the direction of the transposition is set with the span drop-down menu over here. So we can have it go low, meaning it's gonna transpose down. So if I have this set to one, for example, it's gonna transpose down an octave or up an octave when it's in high mode or wide, meaning it'll transpose both upward and downward. Now the order control sets the order in which the notes are played. So we have forward, which means the notes are played from lowest to highest. Backward means they're played from highest to lowest. And then we have rock and roll exclusive, which is interesting. All the notes are played forward from the lowest and then backwards from the highest down to the lowest. And then we have the same thing over here with the difference being that the highest and lowest notes are repeated when we switch directions. And finally as chord, all the notes are played as once as you would expect. So we can enable sync here in order to lock it to the tempo of the DAW and we can set the rhythmic duration. So for example, here's eighth notes and here's a simple pattern with some chords held down. I'll play it for you as is now with one octave range. Let's go in both directions like this at a rate of eighth notes. Now let's go to inclusive and you'll see as I hold the chord down, let me go to zero so you can really hear what it's doing. I'll hold the chord and you'll hear it repeat the top note when it's going downwards and repeat the lowest note before it goes upwards. Versus this mode where it doesn't repeat. So we can get some nice interesting rhythms going on. And for example, we can get 16th notes. Let's leave it at eighth notes. And where this gets really interesting is where we create rhythmic patterns using this pattern display over here. Now, the way it works is we have up to 16 steps and we can turn individual steps on and off simply by clicking on them. So for example, if I turn that step off and we're in eighth notes, the third eighth note will be silent. And we can set here how many steps we want it to be by clicking with this indicator. And let's say I click in this cell here, that means it'll be a four note pattern one and, and then that'll be silent, and then and, and it'll just repeat over with that rhythmic pattern. Where it gets really interesting is where we do odd number patterns. Let's say I'll do five. So we can get some interesting patterns like that. Let's create a longer one. I'll just create some random rests like that. And let's put the step end over there. And let's try 16th notes. We should get some interesting rhythmic pattern. Let's add one more step to it. And let's try maybe a triplet value. So we get some interesting results. Let's go up an octave, up and down, and let's see what that's like, maybe a sixteenths. And as chord over here, they'll all sound at once. So interesting. Now let's go back to this pattern over here and I'll leave it in a zero range. So it's just working in the octave it's written in and let's look at using latch mode. We turn it on over here and when it's enabled, the arpeggiator keeps playing its pattern 
when the notes on the keyboard are released. So you don't need to keep your fingers down on the keys. It'll keep playing the chord either until a new chord is played or until you press this latch button again over here to turn it off. So you can see the notes I'm playing here with it on. I take my fingers off and they remain playing until I hit another chord. So it'll keep playing until I hit the latch button like that to turn it off. So it's a great feature for live performance, but we can also use it with the ribbon underneath here. If I hit on a note, it'll keep playing until another one is hit or until I disable latch. And this acts just as a regular keyboard interface just to audition notes. Now I wanna show you a little bit more about how this sync feature works. So now we're playing this rhythmic pattern based on 16th notes and it's locked to tempo. When I take this off and we turn this, you'll see that we're looking at beats per minute. So it'll still play 16th notes in this rhythm, but at different speeds, which obviously won't sync exactly with our song. But let's see if we can come up with some interesting kind of counter rhythms. If we get a little kind of behind the beat, you can get the phrasing a little ahead or behind like that. So it's a really interesting way of getting kind of in between the cracks of the rhythmic values. So that's the arpeggiator module.